I bought this Odroid Go Advance on Facebook. It's a cool looking thing. It was sold as faulty. Got no power. It's actually got quite a weird fault because it kind of does have power. Let me demonstrate. This is the charging cable that came with it. In fact, I'll just show you that it doesn't come on. There's the power button. Nothing. Watch what happens when we plug this in. It comes on. Dig the music. Watch what happens. Oh, there we go. It's just turned itself off. Didn't even have to do anything. So it comes on, but then it turns itself off. We're not getting any amp draw at all on the amp meter. It could just be a problem with the battery. Let's just try it again. Yeah. I see it's drawing there. But that's obviously probably because it's powered on. Oh. Yes. We've got the charging symbol here. Hey, it's not going off this. T it went off. So I don't know. I think there's something going on. But I just, I don't know what. But it definitely isn't coming on without this plugged into it. So let's take it apart and see if we can figure out why. Old droid with the void and gonna make this hard Cause it's time for the bars giving my regards Picking up the intensity, you know my identity Shouting thanks to the sponsors, ain't no complexity Did her work at A1 Base, Western and Western RVE Daff, Willie Jammer from the back section To the Ellis Garber, into the action Jonathan Wiz, Wan Jockey, part of the fraction Such stupid name here, that's a princess wizard Making sure this shout out is gonna get heard That's a fucking sign in Flame and French show, yeah Flux, Oz, Newton, throw your hands in the air, Adam Taylor, John Bruce, Shake, Maroki. You should hear your boy stairs up karaoke. Mark of this 19, McAdams and Nate. Infinity Ben Rush gonna tell you straight. Who's the man? MOT man, who's big in Japan? Monkey Joe, Tokyo, in his Honda sedan. Henry Efasio, that's it. Oh, beg my pardon. That's for the Patreon clan, my man, Jonathan Harden. Peace. Right, well, let's measure the battery first and foremost. There we go, at 3.8 volts. That battery's absolutely fine. Right, well, let's take this board out and let's have a look at it under the microscope. Nice one, Steve. You just broke the LCD connector. I'll see if I can get that back in under the microscope. <laughs> it, it could have already been broke. That's what I'm going with, anyway. Hopefully the microscope records everything, unlike last week. Right, so what have we got? What have we got? We've got stuff. We've got capacitors, resistors, whatever that is. Oh, a rock chip. RK817. Some inductors. We've got a load of little capacitors and resistors here. And then the rest of it on this side is just the switches. Yeah, the switch contacts. There's nothing else on that side. Let's flip it over. So what have we got up here? So we've got, these are the power, charge and alive LEDs. Fuse, let's check the fuse. Fuse is fine. That is FB2 though, where's FB1? I presume there's another one somewhere. Ah, right, while we're here, let's see if I can fix this uh, LCD connector that I brutally yanked out of its uh, thing. Yes, I can. Excellent. Another chip here. XT25F128B. Another rock chip, the RK3326. Ah, oh, that looks familiar. Is that the one that's in the Retron 5? Something like that. Uh, we've got presumably some... RAM. Um, can I find the other FB fuse? If there's an FB2, you'd think there must be an FB1 somewhere. Oh, whoa! What's going on there? I think there's supposed to be a component there. Because it looks like there are still some remnants of it. What's that as well? I think that might just be a hair. Right, well that might be the problem. We're missing C54. 
I don't know what's happened there. Maybe it's been dropped and that's fallen out. I didn't... Nothing fell out of the case, I don't think. Right, well, let's see if I can find some schematics for this and see if I can figure out what C54 should be. Obviously, a capacitor. Okay, so I found the schematics. And C54 is here. And apparently it's 100 microfarad. And it runs into the chip, which is this chip here. So I'm pretty sure I've got the right schematics there. Let's try and tidy this up. See if we've actually got any pads under there. There might not be. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's part of the capacitor or if that's... I think it's ripped away some of the pad there. Let's clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol and let's see if we can work it out. Nope, I can't work it out. Multimer and continuity, let's see. Okay, so there is continuity between there and there. And there and there. Right, so I think... I don't know, I can't work that. Is that part of the capacitor? Why is it not coming up? Let's put some... Let's get some solder braid on it. Mm, and, and a free hair. Hmm, I think I need to change this tip. Okay, that's more like it, isn't it? That's what it should look like. Let's do the same on the other one. Right, I think that's the bit of capacitor. Okay, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Right, we got there eventually. Right, C54, 100 microfarad capacitor. Let's see if I've got one. Uh, this is a 1206. Is that right the size? I think it is. Right, let's try and pop one of them on. make sure this is connected to ground yes it is and that one isn't correct and that one should go into the top leg of this I see which it does excellent right let's pop it back together and see if that's worked that would be another easy fix as far as I know this thing only works with the SD card in we need to make sure we put that in Okay, here goes. Oh. It's still not coming on. Alright, so it wasn't that. It's still doing the same thing. It's not the power switch. No, it can't be, because it turns itself off. And there was a capacitor missing. Alright, let me just unplug this and you'll see it goes off and it doesn't come back on. There we go, it's gone off. So it's not the power switch, is it? Epic news. I mean, I'll test it. Maybe, maybe it is. I, I don't think so. But well, it's obviously something else. Let's take it apart again. Where's the power switch? It's here. Right, well, we can test that. So we've got continuity on the outer two. Middle one and outer nothing. Press the switch and we've got it. So that works fine. Uh, let's have another look under the microscope. I mean, if it's been dropped, maybe there, there's other damage. I didn't spot anything as I was going around, but you never know. R3. I'm guessing that doesn't look like there was ever meant to be anything there. Let me check, though. 
Well, I don't know. On here, we've got R3 here as a zero ohm resistor. R4, zero ohm. R3, zero ohm. Let's just check if R4 is a zero ohm. Yes, it is. And R3. Oh. It doesn't look like there was ever one there, though, does it? I can see another one missing down here. R62. I'm guessing that is another zero ohm. But that, again, that does not look like it ever had one in, in there. Let's see if I can find out what R62 should be. Yeah, R62, zero ohm. But, um, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking at. I'm just going off what it... I'm searching for the things and looking at the, what they are. I don't, uh, but again, that doesn't look like there was ever one there. So let's just see if there's anything else obvious. I need to clean that up. Hmm. Oh! I think we have another culprit. Yes. There's supposed to be something there. R12. God damn. R12. 0R01. So that's not a 0 ohm, is it? Is that a 0 0.1? 0 0.01? I'll have to Google it. Yeah, it's 0 0.01. I mean, that's very closely modelled on the zero, isn't it? I mean, it's not far away. I don't think I'm going to have any of those. This is a zero ohm. But I can't see why that wouldn't work. I'm sure someone will tell me why it won't work. Because I think if I measure that, I will get 0 0.01 on my multimeter anyway. But is that because my multimeter is not very good? I don't know. Someone help me. Let's Google it. Well, Google didn't help. Apparently, a lot of zero ohm resistors are not zero anyway. All I can think is just to, to try it. Well, let's try and measure it. See what we get. Not that it's going to make any difference, I don't think. I'm still going to use it. 0.1. I'm just going to go with that. Let's clean this up. soldering shoes on today again that'll do check that it's still working yep 0 0.1 ohms okay let's try it now yes <laughs> come on Amazing. Right, let's put it back together fully. Thanks for your help again, Dave. Always helpful. Nice. It's not coming on. <laughs> what have I done? Ah, I've not put an SD card in. <laughs> Nice! Ooh, what to play? Surely it can't do N64. Well, let's find out. There's no way it's going to be able to play GoldenEye. Let's test it. It's looking good so far. Ah, there we go. I knew it wouldn't be able to. I think I'll stick with something a bit easier to emulate. Let's do Super Nintendo. Beavis and Butthead. Didn't even know that was a thing. Viacom. What's going on?
stupid stupid game Wake me up before you go, go, I take me dancing now.